You do not have clearance. You are not even a mechanimal. Entrance denied. Entrance denied. What do we have here? Excuse me, but if I may say so, you look lousy. What happened to your metal? A mechanical without metal? Ooh, uh, not to worry. I'm sure I have something here for you. This place sort of looks like a dry cleaner's. Well, of course it's dry. Surely you don't think I'd allow anything that would make my customers rushed. This shop is certified 100% moisture free. I've got the silica gel bills to prove it. Might I offer you a new head? But what is this place? Well, you must be from out of town. This is the finest body repair and replacement parts boutique in all of New York City. If you'll pardon my immodesty, the need for a new head is nothing to be ashamed of, you know. Looks like a cool place. So, what brings you to my establishment, if I may ask? I, um, I'm trying to save my world. Well, do tell. It must be a large job. Well, if you need any metal work, you just let me know. As for the rest, uh, well, I'm, I'm not sure I can help you. Tell me more. So, tell me, what do you think of the establishment here? It's fantastic. We try. Of course, some say we don't try hard enough. Like my friend Lugnut. He says I should expand. He clobbers me with his advice. Franchise, advertise, merchandise, spin-off, publicize, promote. Whoo! Sometimes I'd like to replace his head with a brick. You know, I like my service to be personal, so maybe I shouldn't let my business get too big. Interesting. Of course, he was the one who urged me to try the Vendo head. I said, Lug, I'm a hands-on sort. I custom make everything personal. Well, but he insisted. So I gave it a shot. And you know what? He was right. The customers love it. But why not? Everybody likes a new head now and then. Sure. You're probably wondering how I started in this business. Now, I took over this shop from Turbine. He started it after he retired from the ironworks. He put in his millennium, then he opened this place. It was the same with me. You know, it was mechanimals like us that built the ironworks. Oh, I sure miss those wrench-turning, piston-driving, coal-mining bunch of metal makers. You've been there, may I assume? No, I haven't. Well, you have to see it. And be sure to see the Rotunda, built in 47, and all because of me, if I may say so. Wow. What happened? Well, I was a journeyman forger just starting out, working double shifts full of horsepower. Well, I had to be. I had four little prototypes at home to feed. Anyway, I was doing some routine tunneling when all of a sudden my drill bit locked. Well, fine. It, it happens, you know. I worked it back and forth, and jiggled it free, and suddenly a gigantic hunk of the wall fell down. And there it was, the remains of the oldest known mechanimal. How did you know that's what it was? Well, I mean, I ask you, what else could it have been? Oh, it was a mechanimal, all right. Very primitive, very hard to figure out. But everyone agreed that that's what it was. Everyone except Diode. But he always was a contrary kind of individual. But that? That was taken to my retirement party from the ironworks. Oh, what an affair. Everyone I knew was there. It was most gratifying. And they all had a fine time. Except Diode. He was moody and cranky even back then. That's me and my wife Ethel. Our wedding day. And I'll tell you, she still looks that good. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> what a honeymoon we had. I took time off from the ironworks and we'd rented a condo at Magma Beach. Oh, did we play shuffleboard. You know, we'll be celebrating our lead anniversary any day. Oh dear. 
Oh no, it's today! Our anniversary's today! I gotta think of a suitable present now. Hmm. Oh, what's nice and it's got a lot of lead in it. Quick, think. Why don't you take a look at my wall of fame? Frankly, it was Lugnut's idea. Put your best customers up where everyone can see them. It'll inspire the others. Well, he was right. The first one up was Diode. A somewhat crazy individual, but hey, he pays in cash. Nice wood, too. I know Diode. He's kind of strange. Ask me if I'm surprised. I used to work with him at the ironworks. Always was a quirky sort. Sad to say, I think he's gotten even more strange in the last few years. I'd say he's somewhat lost his mind. You mean his behavior is weird? How? Oh, nothing specific. I mean more in the way he behaves and the things he says. And he's always showing up here asking to replace the same parts over and over again. I mean, most of my other customers, they get a new foot once a decade. How does he get so rusty? Hey, great looking head. You want to wear that? No, thanks. New head resistance. I see it all the time. That's perfectly understandable. Uh, maybe some other time. Hey, great looking head. You want to wear that? Okay. <laughs> Terrific. Nice fit. Good clamping. Hey, you look just like a mechanical. Oh, please, take it out for a spin. And watch the reactions you get. I think you'll be surprised. Welcome, citizen.
Welcome to the Hall of Records. Please enter a name or letter. Please note that due to budgetary restrictions, database reorganization, statutory proceedings, and jurisdictional modifications, not all records will be available at this time. Sorry, uh, that's just a low.